R&B crooners Boys to Men were on the last leg of their tour of the Far East when they arrived in Seoul, Korea to shoot an episode for the Music in High Places TV series. In, in the beginning, we really didn't want to, you know what I mean? And being tired, fatigued, I mean, we've been on this tour for about, you know, a month now. And it, and it was like, do we have to? And I think that if we didn't go, we would have regretted it. And just when they thought they'd seen and done about everything, the group came face to face with a place that very few in the free world have ever witnessed. The line drawn between North and South Korea, the DMZ. The DMZ was an incredible experience. Um, being from Philadelphia, we never really get a chance to like see things like that. Just to uh, see and feel that took on a whole different perspective, at least for me. You know, as far as the, the things that these, these young men and women are doing, um, putting their lives on the line every day, not knowing and what's going to happen to do that. and choosing to do it. But it gives, honestly, you know, me a, a different respect for these people. North Korea, uh, just yeah. like me right now. North, <laughs> ready? <laughs> North, South. Yeah, um, it's so serious, but it also seems so menial, you know, the table, for instance, you know how one side was the north and one side was the south. That was like bugged. It, that it was, was bugged out because it's like, you know, it's almost like paint a white stripe down the middle of our room and you stay on that side and I'll stay on this side. That's deep right there. You got the table, right? And it could have went down at any second. Wow. Is that intense back there, guys? Yeah, man, that's man, real. That was pretty rough, man. Yeah. That's real. One lucky member of the group, Nathan, got a chance to see Korea from a different angle. Above. Two four zero. Maintain five hundred one four zero. Bingo. Wow, that was cool. That was cool. What do we just do? <laughs> okay, it's called the Mac Performance Climb. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Is that, is that voice, man? <laughs> JSA, place to be. <laughs> he needs that right there. Airborne. In the house. Good. Oh. You got a heavy backup, man. Heavy backup. Boys to Men showed their appreciation for our own boys in uniform with an impromptu concert. Oh, it's a natural. You belong to me. Oh, it's great. It's great. You sound better in person than anything. Definitely. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. You know, you guys have uh, really. Uh, Increase the morale of my guys up here. Yeah, man. I'm glad to have the and even though morale was high, the temperature outside was not. It's cold, and you realize, dang, man, this cold actually does something to the instrument. It stretches or tightens up the strings. So I'm thinking, like, imagine what it does to our voices. If somebody was to see this at home, they wouldn't believe it because they know I don't come outside when there's snow or cold. I'm like a bear. I hibernate in the wintertime. If they're trying to find me, I'm in the house. Despite the freezing weather and their hectic schedule, neither the band nor the crew ever lost their sense of humor. Well, I'm available for warm climates too. <laughs> the jokes, you know what I mean? It, it, it brings, it, it makes our days, you know what I mean? Because who can go through a whole day without hearing somebody say something stupid, you know? They put me on Temptation Island, dude. It would have been all bad. <laughs> You'd have been the only one I'd sitting in the corner by yourself. I'd have been there. To, <laughs> I'd have been going there to be tempted. Anything that's gonna make a brother go. <laughs> now that was comedy. Yeah. And when they finally took a moment to catch their breath and reflect, the boys knew that the entire experience was well worth the effort. I enjoyed the experience after the fact because, you know, during it because I'm sick because my throat is not really well and neither is Wanye's really but after you did it I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. cool you know what I'm saying that was that was actually kind of cool and it was the whole vibe and hearing some of the songs that we've never heard acoustic 
you know, all, a lot of the stuff is electronic and things like that, and that's how we've been hearing it for the past few months, but to hear it with just a couple acoustic guitars, acoustic bass, little tambourine, it gave a whole new life to some of the records, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it actually might have spawned some, some ideas, you know what I'm saying, to possibly maybe take the whole acoustic thing maybe further because of the fact that it just felt good. The beauty that, that, that came out of it was what the ultimate goal was and, you know, no matter how we sound now talking, <laughs> right. you know, the end result is what matters, what I guess. We wanted to accomplish and I guess that's what we did. Peace out, man. Much video. love. Music in high Music places. Music in high places, baby. Much Can love. Leave that one. Direct TV. See you soon. Baby. another happy hour because we're going the other way so we get happy hour twice stay tuned for the full-length episode of boys to men in korea next.